Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave over to the bar set. Joined today by Ryan Sullivan, president of the Zenith Company, not the TV one, it's with an X. <laughs> and if you've been noticing, uh, football players from high school all the way up to the NFL have this X on the top of their helmet. It is a Zenith helmet. And Ryan, you're here today. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks but for having me. Anytime. Look, this is the clear version of the helmet. This so is everyone it. can see what's going on inside. Concussions are obviously, you know, that's the thing everyone's talking about. Why kids aren't playing football, why it's on the decline. What kind of are you and your company doing to make sure football sticks around? So thanks for the question. Thanks for having us. Zenith, with an X, as you said, <laughs> uh, is one of the newer helmet companies in the space today. And they're, fundamentally, we approached football head protection with a desire to improve the game, improve the health and safety of athletes for a, game, a great game that we all know and love. So really there's three things that make us different than any traditional football helmet that you have seen or, or your viewers are likely familiar with. So I'll use this uh, clear shell helmet here. First and foremost, we have a clear shell helmet because we want to show what's on the inside of the helmet. Right. It's what's on the inside of the helmet that counts. That's what protects the athlete, especially with our technology. So number one, we have what we call a shock bonnet. That's a web of shock absorbers. And important to note, it's only attached to the shell in the front and in the back. So here and here. Okay. So very different than any helmet that you've ever seen where you have foam or pads glued to the shell. Right. It's only attached in two points. So upon impact, and there's some slow motion videos on our website, right. zenith.com, X-E-N-I-T-H.com. I'd encourage people to check it out. So upon impact, the shell and the bonnet can move independent of one another. That really helps to spread out and dissipate those forces over a much right. greater surface area than traditional football helmets. So that's difference number one. Okay. Difference number two are the shock absorbers themselves. So there's a, you can't hear it on air, but there's an air cell. Okay. Yeah. So think about it as a, a pop bottle yeah. that you have with a hole in the end. And if you apply a lot of pressure to it, right, the air inside is going to prevent you from crushing the bottle. Right. And if you apply softer or slower pressure, it's going to respond dynamically. Right. So that's the science behind our shock absorbers themselves. Okay. So that's difference number two. Difference number three is the attachment system. So in our helmet, the chin strap runs all the way around the back of a player's neck. So oh, there's no wow. other okay. helmet on, in, in the space today that does this. So when a player puts the helmet on, and they cinch that tight, you see the back of that bonnet pull right. tight around the back of okay. the athlete's neck. So that provides a consistent and reliable custom fit for every athlete every time. And if, if a helmet isn't fitting the player right, and if it's not staying in place right. throughout the play, it can't do its job. So those are the three things that make us different with our protective technology. Where are you seeing, where are we seeing these helmets? Who's wearing them right now? So we just spent a lot of that segment talking about the Lions. We got uh, Tahir Whitehead, number 59, okay. starting middle linebacker, as well as DJ Hayden in the helmet on the Lions today. We've got a couple of other folks that don't see as much playing time on the Lions that are either trying it out or, right. or in the helmet. Um, you got Spartans and Wolverines here. Uh, we've got some, you know, I'd say uh, participation on both teams. No, none of the uh, brand name players that you right. know. Um, but Delano Hill, for example, okay. who played in Michigan last yeah. year on the Seahawks. Now he wore the helmet uh, on, this, on, on Michigan oh, and is wearing it at the Seahawks. This guy and your company is right downtown, right? On Absolutely. Woodward. Yep. So he's a Michigan-based, Michigan State grad. Yep. Doing big things for the game of football right here in the city of Detroit. Ryan, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Zenith.com. Correct? Yes, you got X, it. With an X. X-E-N-I-T-H, I think.